After your IP cameras have been connected and configured for the camera network, they can be easily added to the DW Spectrum server. However, there may be some instances where users may prefer to add the camera manually rather than use the default auto discovery setting. In this video, you will learn how to manually add a new camera to a DW Spectrum server, how to activate a recording license, and how to set the recording schedule settings for a camera. While the default settings of DW Spectrum will allow the system to automatically scan and add OnVIF Profile SIP cameras to the server, there may be instances where a camera must be added manually. You can turn the camera auto discovery setting on or off in the general tab of the system administration menu. To manually add a camera to DW Spectrum, log in to the DW Spectrum client as the owner or as a user with administrator privileges. Next, click on the main menu drop-down in the top left and select Add Device. Alternatively, you can right-click on the server in the left panel and select Add Device. The Add Devices window will open. If you know the IP address or URL of the camera, use the Known Address option. Enter the IP or URL of the target camera into the address box. If the camera's TCP port has been changed from the default setting, port 80, be sure to uncheck the default checkbox and to enter the correct value into the port box. Lastly, enter the administrator login of the camera itself. It should be noted that the login entered here should belong to the camera itself and not be mistaken for the credentials that are used to log in to DW Spectrum. Input the administrator username into the login box and the administrator password into the password box. When ready, click the search button to have the system scan the local network for the specified camera. The camera's brand, model, and network address will be listed below once it has been detected by the system. To add it to the server, click on the checkbox that appears beside the camera, then click the Add Selected button. If you are trying to add more than one camera manually, you can have DW Spectrum scan the local network for groups of cameras using an IP range. To search for multiple cameras simultaneously, use the subnet scan option, like using the known address option. Enter the first IP address of the IP range into the start IP box, and enter the last IP address of the range into the end IP box. If the TCP ports of the cameras have been changed from the default, port 80, uncheck the default checkbox and enter the correct value. Enter the camera's username and password into the login and password boxes. Then click the scan button. All the cameras that are discovered by the system will be listed in the area below. To add the discovered cameras to the server, check the checkboxes beside the cameras, then click the Add Selected button. If a local camera is not discovered by the system, using a camera discovery tool may be helpful in locating the missing device. In most cases, Discovery tools can be obtained from the camera's manufacturer. For example, DW Megapix cameras can be discovered by scanning the local network with the DW IP Finder application, as provided by Digital Watchdog. In most cases, a camera that is missing during a scan is usually due to the IP address being unconfigured to match the correct IP subnet, or if the camera is using outdated firmware. By using device finding tools like DWIP Finder can serve as an easy way for administrators to locate and identify network devices, change IP addresses, push firmware updates to cameras, and more. Once a camera has been added to the server, you can select it from device list in the left panel to view live video. However, to record video to the server, at least one recording license per camera must be activated on the system. This will be covered in our next video.